This is an overview of FTP on the go. The first big difference in version 2.0 is the addition of these tabs at the bottom of the screen. The FTP on the go tab is the connection to the FTP server. Saved files is where files are stored locally on your iPhone or iPod. Web view is a built-in browser so you can quickly view changes when editing a web page. And the settings tab is where you can set your defaults and preferences. When the program is run, the first screen you come to is the server login page. If you have several servers that you regularly use, you can select them on the bookmarks page. To add the current server to the bookmarks, touch the plus. Once you have connected to your server, you will view the contents of the directories. Selecting an item and pressing the properties arrow will let you adjust attributes of that file or directory. chmod is a much requested new feature in version 2.0. The menu button at the bottom of the screen lets you create or upload files. When you download a file, it can be viewed or edited from the saved files tab. You can edit HTML using a built-in text editor. Another new feature in version 2.0 is the ability to share files using a built-in server. You can view files over a wireless network from your main computer or laptop or from another iPhone or iPod Touch. You can even upload files from your computer into FTP on the go using a wireless network then upload the files to a server using the cellular network. For more information, check out our website, ftponthego.com.